Youth League leader Julius Malema, then expelled from the governing party, uh, launched the Economic Freedom Fighters to mark its ninth anniversary. The party heads to Mangaung in the Free State today to celebrate. Now to find out what is happening there, we now cross to our reporter Kenny Mapanga. Kenny, a very good morning to you. What can we expect today to mark the ninth anniversary of the Economic Freedom Fighters? Good morning to you and the viewers at home. I'm coming to you live from Mangawung in uh, Bloemfontein where the EFF will be celebrating nine years of its existence. Uh, that is close to a decade of the party um, existing. And we understand that the program is still being kept a bit of a secret here, but we understand that the keynote address will be delivered by EFF leader Julius Malema. I'm joined by the EFF spokesperson, Sinawa Tambo, who's just going to quickly, uh, before we give you a bit of a background of the EFF, give us a brief understanding of what is going to take place today here at the stadium. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, you've remained mum about the details surrounding this uh, celebration. What can we expect today? Look, uh, the EFF is observing nine years, so uh, we can expect a message of hope from the Commander-in-Chief and President of the Economic Freedom Fighters, who will give us a greater context in terms of the history of the EFF, the foundation of the EFF at an ideological and uh, policy perspective level, and also a line of march going forward into a decade of the existence of this economic emancipation movement of ours. So it's a celebratory mood. It's a festival of the poor. Our people are packing the stadium uh, from Mangawung, here in Buchabelo, from Kharib region, from Fezletabi, Chokabi region, all across the free state where our people have come and they've committed to uh, come and celebrate with us uh, they've spoken to us across various community meetings about the problems confronting these communities uh, they, to our officials and uh, the president and commander-in-chief will speak directly to those problems because we're a movement born of the poor. So commander-in-chief will speak to the issues of sewers, he'll speak to the issues of corruption, he'll speak to the fact that this city is an open sewer, he'll speak to all of the problems confronting society here in the so-called city of Roses. And uh, we're expecting that message and line of march uh, from the commander-in-chief. With respect to the program, uh, we know that the keynote address will be delivered by Mr. Malema, but what else um, do you have in store for the many supporters that will be showing up today? Look, uh, there will be messages of support from uh, organizations which are sympathetic or aligned to the perspectives of the EFF, uh, practically the left. Messages of support from leaders within the continent, dignitaries, uh, performances by artists. So the keynote address will be given by the Commander-in-Chief and President Julius Malema. But of course the EFF has not been alone in this journey. And we're not the first ones to call for economic freedom in our lifetime. So those who are aligned to us within the sector of labor, within the continent and uh, across all uh, fraternal organizations will be here to give us those messages of support and uh, we are going to welcome that. Mm -hmm. And just uh, quickly, what does the future of the EFF look like? What are some of the objectives that you are looking at heading towards 2024? Look, the immediate uh, goal of the EFF remains the return of the land. It must be the reversal of the first sin against African people. Mm -hmm. And uh, that must be followed by the nationalization of mines, banks and key strategic sectors of the economy, provision of free education, healthcare, housing and sanitation, creation of jobs, uh, mm -hmm. uh, collapsing of the tender system in order to allow for state capacity to exist, building infrastructural relations within the continent and all of the other complementary pillars that uh, define who the EFF is. We're going to continue championing those at a legislative level but also on the picket lines and uh, we're going to continue to hold uh, those who run this country who are corrupt accountable uh, from Zuma to Ramaphosa. We're going to be indiscriminate about that and uh, that is what we have to commit to as we head into a decade of the EFF. And of course the EFF's ambitions to get into government one day? Absolutely. Uh, the EFF's immediate goal is to run this country because we see ourselves as the only viable alternative to alleviate the poverty confronting our people. 2024 is going to be a definitive moment in South African politics post-1994. and The EFF is going to be a major part of that. And we will see ourselves ruling this country mm -hmm. and the Commander-in-Chief and President Julius Malema ruling this country as well. That will be the greatest gift we can give to the poor who support the EFF. Right. Thank you so much. That was EFF. Uh, spokesperson Sinawa Tamba just giving us a brief of the program. We understand that it's going to be centered around this keynote address by uh, EFF leader Julius Malema. Just to give you a view behind us, the stage is set and ready for the political party, which is now the third uh, biggest party in this country, uh, to celebrate uh, its nine-year anniversary. Uh, they're currently sitting with 44 seats in Parliament. That's about six seat sites uh, shy of doubling uh, their seats in Parliament uh, from their first uh, elections in 2014, where they had a about 25 seats. Uh, SABC will be here giving you rolling coverage. Uh, 
over to you in studio. Kenny Mapanga, thank you so much for that coverage. Now, on to